I recorded this video about six months ago. Unfortunately, when I did that, I didn't hit record on that there camera, just that camera. So all it showed was a close up of the table. So I've, I've, I did well. Now, uh, as you can probably tell by whatever clickbait title I've given this video, this is a run through of my cheap kitchen. So what I mean by cheap kitchen is I have an expensive setup in my setup in WA. And for this van, the old Delica, I've decided to go with something a lot less expensive, a lot cheaper, a lot simpler. Uh, I wanted to show you how you can cook really good food with a budget setup. So that's exactly what I've done here. Now, there are some exceptions just because I just hate some cheap things and sue me, but you know, I'm gonna show you what I spent money on and what I didn't spend money on. So. Okay, two things. Number one, there is gonna be a code word somewhere in this episode. So make sure you comment the code word down below to win a copy of my book. Number two, the list of all these, all these items is on my website. So link down here, check out the links to every single item on there to make it easy for you. I'll start with this. This is cheap. This is from a company called Campfire, very appropriately. And um, it is a cast iron pan. It's probably too big. I, I picked the wrong size. I think this is a 31 centimeter. I would go for like a 26 or 25 centimeter, whatever one size down from this is. It has been good occasionally, but for mainly, mainly one person, uh, yeah, it's a little bit too big. But great thing about it, removable handle, so it fits into the box really well. Um, although I've added a whole bunch of stuff to the box, so it doesn't fit in the box anymore. It doesn't really bother me. I've got a different spot for it. Yeah, that's, that's been very useful. Oh, another part. Bunnings table. These are the lifetime tables. I always go for the 1.8 meter one because it folds in half. Um, so this is 1.8 meters or six foot, or sorry, five foot 11, which is the same height as me. Um, so, and it folds in half, doesn't take up much room. It's got heaps of burn marks on it because I don't care about it. I've got a couple of these in Perth. I use them for like carving whole lambs and things like that. They're very useful. Now, boxes, front runner wolf packs. I would like to go the high lid in some of these, but as you can see, they just fit perfectly. So I got pantry, groceries, and that's booze and bits because I'm sponsored by CB Co Brewing and they give me bulk beer, which means I need to put it all somewhere. So that's what that's for. Cheap welding gloves. I hate these. I really hate them. They are not very good. They were like 10 bucks from Bunnings, Boss Weld or whatever they are. I don't know. I'm not into them at all. I do also have a gas cooker. I'm not even going to show you it. It's the cheapest one you can get from Bunnings. It's one of those butane ones. Never used it. Just got it just in case I get caught out. Need to cook and it's fire down or whatever. Breadboards. I sell breadboards, I'm using my own bloody breadboards. You don't have to use these. Obviously you can use a cheap breadboard, but I don't like them. I've got these, so I'm gonna use them. So if that annoys you, then bad luck. But these are my fire to fork breadboards. Washing up tub. Uh, this is from Pop Up is the brand. I think I got it from Snowy's. Yeah, I did get it from Snowy's. Yeah, um, that's good. Strainer. Shouldn't have got this, don't need it. I got it because I had planned to steam something. I'm actually gonna throw that away now because it just takes up room and it's not very useful. Uh, it's from Kmart. Plates. Kmart, just again, one of the cheapest ones I could. These are metal, and the 25 centimeter plates. This is not part of my kit. I don't use it very often. It's actually gonna go back to Perth. I brought it over because I needed to take some photos with it. Um, it's a Cedar Summit one, but that's what I use in Perth for when I need non stick but they do nest these plates very well. Tea towels. And these are not tea towels. These are face towels. The reason for that is because if, if anyone who's used a cheap tea towel knows, they are not absorbent at all. They suck. So using a face towel, a hand towel, sorry, um, again from Kmart, these are absorbent straight out of the box, much better than buying a tea towel. These things, when they're new, just, they're just crap. This is from another kit. Salt and pepper grinders. I tried using the supermarket ones. I hated them so much. I brought my own salt and pepper grinders over. These are the Naxam ones that I use in Perth. There's you know, all the good stuff on my gear list. Um, they are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I just, I couldn't deal with the cheap ones anymore. Knife sharpener from Osbry. That's how I sharpen my knives. Flippers, uh, these are well, hopefully by the time this video comes out, it'll be on my online store, they're handmade. That's the same company that makes these. Uh, I sell them, I like them. I just, I wanted to use these. Um, some 
detergent. Cheap cup. I always keep an, a non-insulated cup. This is a campfire one. Uh, and that's to keep sauces and things like that warm by the fire or just to, slow, just to heat something up slightly on the fire. Having a non-insulated non cup is very useful for me for cooking or like melting butter or something like that. Very cloth. These are the slightly abrasive ones. I find them useful just from the supermarket. Oh, and actually something else I forgot. I use a little campfire folding um, hot plate thing. Uh, I should have got it one size up. I got the smallest one, go one size up. It fits more stuff, but it has been good. Uh, a grater, just use a normal supermarket grater, but I never get the box graters because they take up too much room for camping. And let's be honest, we only ever use like one or two sides of the box. Better off carrying two of these. Um, this, this actually is a microplane one, but because uh, I brought the, the wrong one from Perth. I'm supposed to leave the microplane one in Perth and put the cheap one in here and I've switched them around. So anyway. Basting brush, cheapy supermarket. Some tongs. These are Osbry tongs. Uh, they're good. They're good for the good for the price. They're strong. Uh, I'm pretty fussy with my tongs. These have been good. Got a couple of pairs of them. I, know I probably don't need a couple of pairs, but it's just left over from the full drive show. Knives. I was never going to use a crap knife, so I use continue to use the Osbry knives. This is the cleaver. I've picked my two favourites of the Osbry knife: cleaver and the petty knife. This is a stainless knife. That combination, I think, is the best combination of Osbro knives. So, yeah, definitely recommend those. Next bit, oh, paint scraper. It's from Bunnings. Uh, it's just a stainless steel scraper. So, find that really useful. Cutlery. I just bought a cheap cutlery set from Kmart, and I hate the way that it is organized in here because it is just everywhere. And I really, I think I've actually got one here. I picked one up from Kmart the other day. A little like pencil case kind of thing. Just get a bag for your cutlery. Just do it. But, like I'll never even close that. That'll literally just sit like that. But at least it's in one part of the box, and I can always find it. Doesn't need to be separated or anything like that. But God, get a bag. <laughs> the last few months have just been a nightmare of trying to find stuff. Cheap sharpening steel. Um, I don't need this anymore because I've got this. But before I had that, this was useful. It's a prototype thing. I do have another knife in here, but I haven't really used it that much. Um, oh, that, that definitely got put away wet. Oh, that's gonna be so rusty. This needs to be dunked, dunked in vinegar. Just the end. Anyway, I'll sort that out later. Good thing about these knives, if they do get rusty, just leave them overnight in vinegar. All the rust comes off and then you just give them a clean up. Bowls, also Kmart, just the Anko brand. Meat thermometer. I hate cheap meat thermometers. I find them really inaccurate. So I did bring my Thermapen. Uh, so that's ex quite expensive, but I use it a lot. Now for pots, what I've got is my Southern Metal Spinners Camp Oven. It's the 10 inch, uh, same one I use in Perth. They are great, highly recommend them. Been using them for years. Um, I've got it in a canvas bag, blacksmith bag. Having a bag for them is so good. Look, you can just use a Coles bag, but you know, I wanted something a little bit nicer than that. Um, and I just use a simple campfire billy. So I've used a tin billy. Uh, I don't like aluminium billies because they melt. So uh, yeah, the aluminium, the tin billies or a stainless billy is even better. A relatively new addition. I've been, I've just started to get some of these Kelmat bags. These are PVC bags. I use these for all my fruit, uh, fruit and veg and stuff just to keep them out of the boxes and stuff um, uh, and safe. And they've been really good. They're a Austra nice Australian made one. Uh, but the main thing, PVC over canvas for keeping your groceries in because um, when you inevitably do spill something or something goes off or something gets squashed, uh, you can wipe out PVC, whereas canvas, it all gets stuck on. So yeah, I've got a range of sizes of these and just some supermarket Tupperware. I'd love the collapsible Cedar Summit stuff, but budget. So fortunately, not very space efficient, but they are, they are useful. I might put them in there. No, see, so just... Mm. Not very space efficient, but uh, oh well. They are very useful though, for in your fridge particularly. In here, I've just got jerry cans, so really simple. But yeah, that is literally my whole setup for camping and cooking, and I can do everything with that. I don't know what the total budget is, but it'd be a couple hundred bucks. It's not that, aside from the knives. You can use cheap knives if you want, bring knives from home, whatever you need to do, or upgrade your knives from home and you know bring your old ones. Just get them sharp. Main, main thing is just being able to keep the bloody things sharp. If they're not very, if they're not a very good knife, but you sharpen them regularly, you'll get away with a lot. I'm not, you know, I just really like these knives. I'm used to them. I'm comfortable with them. And, you know, let me have my little luxury. All right. 
It's a very quick, quick run through. Uh, there'll be a code word somewhere in this video, so don't forget to comment it. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also, if this place looks familiar, it's because it is. It's um, the Aussie Arvos boys' backyard. So, cheers, boys. Appreciate it. We've just been traveling through the Vic High Country and all over the place and having a bloody good time. I'll put up a little bit of footage of that at the end of this episode. Cheers.